news never sleeps. For Trafford Park printers, turning the news into newspapers keeps the presses rolling round the clock. The production cycle starts with the delivery of newsprint. Each year, the plant prints 360 million newspapers. That's a lot of newsprint. And in a year, the company will use about 75,000 tons. A full warehouse of 3,000 reels every two and a half weeks. Newsprint is sourced worldwide. Wood, its raw material, is a valuable resource. But through sound forestry management, it's a renewable and sustainable resource. Increasingly, recycled waste forms a significant addition to virgin pulp. And at Trafford Park printers, around 100 tons are salvaged each week. When it opened in 1986, Trafford Park Printers was regarded as one of the most advanced national newspaper plants in Europe and was at the forefront of applying new production processes. The pre-press department uses the very latest forms of technology. Complete newspaper pages are faxed to Trafford Park from the newspaper offices in London and Manchester. They are first scanned to determine the optimum ink levels which will be needed during printing. The films for colour pictures are also checked. Next, films are photo transferred onto lightweight aluminium plates from which the newspaper is printed using the process of offset lithography. Precision punched and bent, the plates are racked and ready for the press hall. With plates in position and all preparations completed, the presses are ready to roll. As print quality is achieved, the presses move into top gear, reading a speed of up to 60,000 copies per hour. Despite a high level of automation, maintaining print quality throughout the print run depends on constant attention and the fine-tuning of ink levels. There's no substitute for the skill and experience of the printer. The conveyors carry some of the country's best-known national and regional newspapers. Trafford Park printers are contracted to print these titles under a joint venture agreement between the Telegraph and Guardian Media Group. From the press hall, papers are sent to the dispatch department, where they're automatically counted and bundled, ready to leave. So bringing the production cycle to an end. From receipt of film, to printed newspaper has taken less than half an hour and no time is lost to have local papers on the newsstands and national titles on the road. Originally built to print northern editions of the Daily Telegraph, the premises were cited to give immediate access to a transportation network ideally positioned for distribution throughout the north and to Scotland and Ireland. Building on a green field site also gave an opportunity to break new ground. Advanced production methods and improved working practices were introduced. Yet with these changes there was continuity, and many former employees from Thompson House in the city centre, where the telegraph had been printed, were recruited, so maintaining a long tradition of printing in Manchester. Today, with a staff of 270, 
Trafford Park Printers sees the experience and skills of its workforce as one of its greatest resources. Nurturing everyone's talents and involving them in the company's objectives is a priority for the management team. For senior and middle management, ongoing training fosters a company culture on which success ultimately depends. But the future will rest largely on a new generation, and particularly on trainees, who undertake the company's carefully structured training program. For me, the traineeship was a valuable first step towards a career in printing. For four years I was given a very thorough grounding in all aspects of newspaper production. This included day release at the Manchester School of Printing. Everything I learnt has helped me gain confidence and provided me with a technical understanding of the industry. Newspaper production is an industry which demands a high degree of competence at every working level. From the most junior members of staff to the most senior managers. No one is more aware of this than managing director Ben Huron. He's seen the industry transformed out of all recognition and has witnessed the emergence of a whole new working culture. Since we came to Trafford Park in the mid 80s we've seen more changes in the industry than in the previous half century. Advances in technology have revolutionized the way newspapers are produced and industrial relations have altered dramatically with the disappearance of the old management shop floor relationships based on confrontation. As a result of these changes, publishers are able to concentrate on developing their products, and they do this constantly in the most competitive newspaper markets in the world. We print some of this country's most prestigious titles, and the quality of our work has to match their expectations. Our role is to ensure we have the necessary skills and technology. To do this, we need to recruit and train staff capable of coping with continuous change and development. A considerable amount of management time is spent trying to create a culture which not only accepts change, but welcomes it. We need skilled staff and the commitment of everyone working here, including people employed by the various contractors on site. With those skills and that commitment, Trafford Park printers can look forward confidently to a future in which we will continue making the news.